I think it's pretty clear. This is the most important electric car in the world this year and could be the most important electric car ever in the history of the 21st century. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel, The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. I made a video about this car well, a few months ago, but at the time, it wasn't fully apparent just how important this car is to the world. Now it is. This electric car makes the Wuling Hong One Mini EV look expensive. Seriously. And it's going to be sold to a quarter, that's right, a full quarter of the world's population. 25% of the world will be able to buy this car within the next 12 months. That makes it, clearly, the most important vehicle ever made. The only question is, can they make enough of them? Now, strangely, this car was actually designed by Pininfarina in Italy. This is the Latin Mango a four-door mini EV, which is actually a lot bigger than you might think, and a lot bigger than the Wuling Hong One Mini quadricycle. This, my friends, is a proper car. It's not a quadricycle. Price range. Well, price matters. It starts at $5,900 US dollars. Seriously. Price for the top range, top specification version is $8,900 US dollars. So far, the Letton Mango family consists of three different models. The Letton Mango, the Letton Mango Pro, and the Letton Mango Max. So the Mango is a four-door, five-seat mini EV. Range for the base model is 130 kilometers, mid-spec model, 200 kilometers, and the top range model is 300 kilometers. However, every single model comes with a lithium iron phosphate battery. And the purpose of this car, say Letton, is to target people in the world which have a monthly income of around 150 US dollars. I mean, there's hundreds of millions of people who need a car like this. So Letton's mission is really just to make it so people on low incomes can afford to get a car. They even say their market size is more than 200 million people in which countries? Well, you've got China. They sell to China. Of course, they're a Chinese car company. Cambodia, South Korea, Panama, Peru, and Brazil. That's a total of more than 1.7 billion people who will be able to buy this car. So how big is it actually? Well, the interior is a lot bigger than you might think because it's an EV. It's 3.6 meters long, 3,622 millimeters, meaning it is more than half a meter longer than the Wuling Hong One Mini EV. It's also wider and taller. It's 1,607 millimeters wide and 1,525 millimeters tall. Wheelbase is also pretty big considering the size of the car, 2.4 meters. Now, as you can see from these interior shots, it's got a nine inch central infotainment screen, but it's also got an infotainment screen for the driver, which is gonna make it easier for the driver to be able to see the speed they're going, you know what I mean? Rather than having to look at that central screen, you also got a screen just for the driver. In addition, it comes with GPS navigation, 5G internet connection, and it supports fast and slow charging. Maximum power of the motor, 35 kilowatt. Peak torque is 125 newton meters. It's a lot of torque for a car of this size. Now that gives it a maximum speed of 100 kilometers an hour, which is reasonable and it's all that people really need. What's the size of the battery pack? The smallest pack is 11.5 kilowatt hours. The middle size pack is 17.3 and the top spec pack is 30 kilowatt hour pack. It's a pretty big pack for a car this size. So you can see that 300 kilometer range for the top spec model is a real world range. That's not a fanciful, made up range that's really going to be possible now you're probably thinking who is this car company are they legit are they really going to do what they say well they already sell their products in all those countries i just mentioned they actually started the car company in 2008 in shandong china 
and they began by manufacturing electric bikes, motorcycles, tricycles, and four-wheelers, which targeted the elderly population in China. Right now, they have four different manufacturing sites in Chengdu, Sichuan, Shandong, and Shanxi. And they have 6,000 employees, and more than 10,000 dealers all across the world. Back in 2018, Letton acquired Shanxi Automobile Company and Sichuan Mustang Automobile Company in 2019. Since then, they have begun manufacturing passenger electric cars. They're planning on actually making not just small cars like this, but also SUVs, MPVs, and sports cars. And as you can see, they've got some pretty big ambitions. I mean, the world needs cars like this. These are so important to the world. 1.7 billion people we have to buy this car at a price starting at 5,900 US dollars for a car that's really got an interior that's not that much smaller than that of a Toyota Corolla. This is a real car. This is not some sort of mini car. It's actually a car that you could use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's got enough power. It's got enough range in the battery pack, especially if you buy that pack with a longer range. I actually think this is without question the best value car anywhere ever made in history of the automobile. I mean, if you can tell me another car that's this size with this kind of range, then please tell me what it is. For this price, it is truly a revolutionary vehicle. And honestly, as you can see, I'm extremely excited. This vehicle will change the lives of millions of people. And it's being made right now. I really don't think people appreciate and have an understanding of just how important cars like these are to so many hundreds of millions of people. The more of these we see around, the less internal combustion engine vehicles we're going to see, the more people whose lives will be better off as a result. Truly, vehicles like this are definitely much more important than the Tesla Model 3, the Tesla Model Y. But you've got to remember, though, technology from companies who manufacture parts for the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y eventually trickles down to cars like this, and it ends up benefiting all of us. Now, let me know in the comment section below. I mean, realistically, would you consider buying one at this kind of price? I really would. I just think, wow, it's amazing. I mean, I bought my electric bike for this price. Seriously, this is a car. It's a good size. It's significantly bigger than a Wheeling Hongwei Mini EV. And frankly, it's definitely going to change the world. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.